Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you 41 Final Cut Pro shortcuts that I use on a daily basis to speed up my workflow. I'll start with some of the basic shortcuts and then we'll talk about shortcuts for retiming clips, speed ramping, some audio shortcuts, and just other general shortcuts I use regularly. Let's jump into Final Cut Pro. The first shortcut is to add a cross dissolve. So simply select the clip and hit Command T. That way you add a cross dissolve to both sides. Or if you just want to put a cross dissolve on one particular cut, select that cut and hit Command T. To cut a clip, hit Command B. By default, this works on your primary storyline. If you want to cut another clip, you can simply select it, hit Command B and it'll cut that clip. If you have clips above your primary storyline and you want to see what's underneath, you can select the clips and hit V to disable them and you can hit V to enable them again. I'm constantly disabling and re-enabling snapping while I'm editing, depending on what I'm doing. With snapping turned on, you'll see my playhead will jump to the different cuts. I can press N to turn that off, and it will scrub smoothly past those cuts, and I can just press N again to turn it on. Adding markers is a quick way to align two clips. For example, let's say you want to show a specific part of this clip over a certain line in the dialogue here. I'm not quite sure what to expect, but we do know that they'll be giving us sarongs. Let's say we want to put it over the word sarongs. We just hit M to create a marker and we go to our cutaway and about there, we hit M again. Then you simply drag the two clips together but with snapping turned on, your markers will sync. Expect, but we do know that they'll be giving us sarongs so we can go inside. And now those two clips are aligned. Next, we have a few zoom shortcuts. To zoom into your timeline, simply hit Command Plus and you can see your edit in a bit more detail. To zoom out, Command Minus. And if you want to see an overview of your entire timeline, you can hit Shift Z. An easy way to copy a clip is to hold down Alt and click and drag. You can do that with one clip or you can do that with multiple clips. An easy way to play a clip forwards is to press L. It's useful when scrubbing through footage and you can press it more than once to play back faster. You can also press K to pause and you can do a similar thing in reverse using the J key to play backwards Again, if you do it more than once, it'll play back a lot faster. The great thing about using the J, K and L keys for playback is that they all together, you can put three fingers on them and you can navigate around your timeline quite quickly. If you need to export a section of your timeline and not the entire timeline, you'll need to set in and out points. It's very easy to do that. To set the in point, you hit I. To set an out point, you hit O. If you're just exporting one clip and you need to select the entire clip, you can hit X. And if you want to get rid of that selection, you can just hit Alt X. Whether you're exporting your entire timeline or just the selection, the shortcut to export your edit is Command E, and that will export according to what you've set as your default. You can check what your default is by going to Final Cut, Preferences, Destinations. You'll see Master File is set as my default. You can simply right click and make that default. It's grayed out now because that is my default, but if you wanted a default to sending to Vimeo, for example, you can right click and make that your default. If you need to move around your timeline by clicking and dragging, you can switch to the hand tool by pressing H, and then you can drag around your timeline to see your edit. If you like to cut with the blade tool, instead of using the first shortcut in this video, you can press B to activate that tool, and then you can just click where you'd like to cut. Another tool I use often is the range selector tool. You can activate that by pressing R on your keyboard. I use it to see how long a certain section of my edit is, or if I just want to change the level of a certain piece of audio. After using all these other tools, you can just hit A to go back to your normal select tool. Let's have a look at this clip that was shot on the GoPro at 240 frames a second. If I want to slow it down, I can select the clip and show the Retime Editor by hitting Command R. Then I can go to the drop down menu and I can adjust the speed from there. I'll make it 25% and then we can play that back to see what it looks like. If you'd like to reset the speed of your clip, you can just hit Command-Alt-R. You can also open up more custom speed options by hitting Alt-Control-R. Over here you can reverse the clip, change the rate or set it to a specific duration. If you want to speed ramp your footage, you can do that by pressing Shift-B at the point where you want the ramp to start, and then you can change the speed. So let's say right before I jump into the waves, I'd like to ramp there, you'll notice there's a small little cut in this green bar at the top. And over here, I'll change the speed to 25%. These are your handles. You can adjust those handles to ease in and out of the ramp. I'm gonna let that render and then I'll go ahead and play it back. And 
and there you have a speed ramp. This next shortcut I use a lot. If I've got a couple of clips on my timeline, let's say of me speaking and then a couple of cutaways, and I want to put those cutaways over me speaking, I simply select them and I lift them from my primary storyline using Command, Alt and the up arrow. You'll see it's in a little group. I can do that again if I want to separate the clips and move them individually. You can also overwrite these clips to your primary storyline by hitting Command, Alt, Down. You'll see you won't lose your audio, but your edit will look nice and neat. If you would like to create your own group, you can simply do that by hitting Command, G. Moving on to some audio related shortcuts that I use regularly. If you want to increase the volume of a clip, simply select the clip and hit Control plus. That'll increase the volume by one dB at a time. And if you hit Control minus, you can go down one dB at a time. If you want to change the volume of a clip over time, you can do so with keyframes. And a simple way of adding a new keyframe is by Alt clicking on the line here. If I do that twice, I can then drag the one keyframe down. If I don't want the music to be loud while I'm speaking, and then it can slowly fade up into the cutaways. Another shortcut I use quite often is to expand the audio. So in this case, you'll see I've got three different clips of us on a scooter in Bali, and they all sound different. I like the sound of the third clip, and I want that sound on the two clips before it. So what I'll do is I'll bring that down. I'll then hit Control S to expand the audio, and I can then drag that audio out to the beginning of the clips. When I play that back, I have one seamless audio file over all three clips. You can hit Control S again to hide that, but the audio is still there. If you want to detach the audio of a clip so that you can use it somewhere else in your edit, you can hit Control Shift S, and then you can move that audio to where you need it to be. You'll notice I always have my audio meter visible when I'm editing. To show and hide that, you can simply hit Command Shift 8. If you look at these two clips on the timeline, you'll see that this clip is graded and it's scaled in a little more compared to this ungraded clip. I've also done some work on the audio on this clip with a denoiser and an EQ. Now, I don't want to do the same work on this clip. I just want to copy exactly what I've done here and paste it here. Very simple to do. You hit Command C, you select this clip, hit Command Shift V, It'll bring up your paste attributes dialog box and you can select all the things you'd like to copy from one clip to the other. I'm gonna copy everything and you'll see this clip looks the same as that clip. If you want to clear a clip of all attributes or just remove certain attributes, you can do that by selecting the clip, hitting Command Shift X and then selecting what you'd like to remove. In this case, I just wanna remove the scale. So I'll uncheck everything and I'll just remove the scale. Another handy shortcut I use quite often is to reveal a clip in the browser. Simply select the clip and hit Shift F and it'll show up in your browser. I use it to get the metadata of the clip if I've forgotten the frame size or the frame rate that I've shot at. A similar shortcut that I use is to reveal a clip in Finder. Simply select the clip, hit Command Shift R, and this will open up a Finder window. I often use this shortcut if there's another raw clip I know that I shot right after this clip that I need to drag into my project. To quickly get to my color board so that I can grade a clip, I hit Command 6 and my color board pops up straight away. I sometimes use video scopes while I'm grading and the shortcut to bring up my scopes is Command 7. If you're doing a multicam edit, you can easily show your multicam view by hitting Command Shift 7. It's really useful to be able to switch between multiple angles. So there you have it guys, those are 41 of the shortcuts that I use on a regular basis and I guarantee you if you start using some of those as well, you'll definitely speed up your workflow. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you guys in the next video.